Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing? Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Felicia Michaels. I am Susanna Brisk. And, and this, this is, is the MILF Code. You're just in full hostess with the mostest I mode. know, because you got on me last week. <laughs> You're like, so this is a speak. show, and you have to act like it's a show. And I was like, all right. <laughs> How's That's it going? not even what I said. I just said that you have a very conversational, informal style. Right. And to treat it more like a show. Because you asked for my feedback. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Get your shit together is not constructive feedback. <laughs> <laughs> That's your kind of feedback. I said oh. I'm looking for encouragement because I'm on my fifth day not smoking. Uh -huh. Which is so ridiculous that I even started again. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But this was the encouragement I got from Felicia. Don't smoke, dumbass. I know. <laughs> like, what else are you going to say? You're a grown-ass woman. Don't smoke. I am so excited about today's guest because we have uh, some fantastic, amazing people with us. Go ahead. Okay, I'll start. I am so excited because I'm introducing John Sally, uh, ex NBA star, and that's really, really star, like yes. all star, four championships, lots of teams, etc. Uh, entrepreneur, actor, host, hilarious, hilar, and uh, an, a vegan activist. Yes. And we're going to talk about all those things today. All those fantastic Welcome, things. Welcome, John Sally. Thank Yay! You. Thank, you. Thank you so Thank you. much for joining us. Uh, Thank you. I couldn't wait to get here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. Couldn't wait to get wow. Here. wow. Is this studio's hot? <laughs> it's got hotter right <laughs> now. I said, we can talk about anything. Oh, uh, and then I went and paid attention to what you guys are talking about. Can't wait. Oh, good, good, good. Awesome. We're going to start with a little light chanting. Yeah. <laughs> and then move into anal. I mean, that's how I that's see this podcast going. That's how she wants every show to go, by the way. <laughs> uh, our second guest is someone that I am a huge fan of. Uh, she recently appeared on NBC's Last Call with Carson Daly. And uh, her Twitter account and jokes at Marcella Comedy have been featured on Time.com, CNN. And she regularly opens for one of my favorite people on the planet, the very respected, the amazingly hilarious Felipe Esparza. Please welcome... Marcella Arguello. Oh my God! Thank you. You're thank welcome. you, everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sit down. Oh, you can see me. Never mind. There. <laughs> I mean, we. Uh, I think I would be safe to say that Felicia and I both have a girl crush on you. Oh, it's totally true. Yeah. yeah, it's not inappropriate. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Not here. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> totally. She wrote a whole ode to you on her oh, Facebook did she? page yeah. about like how oh, these millennials. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was so sweet. I, I I woke up and I actually I read it right when I woke up. Like I logged on my Facebook. That was like, and I just started tearing up and I was like I'm gonna put my phone down I have to put my phone down because it was it was a little overwhelming it was very sweet thank you I do appreciate that it well was you're very welcome it's so heartfelt by the way I, when you, I knew you guys were gonna be the guests I was like how can we connect these two and I was <laughs> like Marcella is a badass and John <laughs> you were part of the Detroit uh, Pistons bad boys right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I know this because I was held hostage by my ex-husband to watch basketball for 15 years <laughs> and I know he is so jealous that you're sitting here so <laughs> 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 Good. But I don't want to pretend that I know that I'm this big expert at basketball or that I can ask a poignant question that unearths some little piece of information about your c fantastic, amazing career. Because you've won four championships, right, with three teams, the first uh, NBA player to do so, right? Well, what, uh, three championships with three teams in two millenniums. Wow. wow. Yeah. Jeez. That is amazing. Pretty and slick. That is super slick. Yeah, that is some some nerd had to come up with that shit because I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I won in Detroit, and then I went to Chicago and won, then I quit, yeah. and then um, I said you know, I was watching TV, and I saw Kobe and Shaq losing, and I called Phil Jackson, and I said, when are you gonna take over this team? You know, just talking, uh -huh. and he was like, how'd you know I was being signed? And then I had to act like I knew. I said, well, you know, I know everybody. <laughs> I was like, you need me on the squad, bro. I live right down the street right. from Shaq. I can talk to Kobe. You know I know the offense. He goes, you in shape? I go, I stay in shape. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't touch for weed, do they? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I got in shape, and then I won the fourth one. Wow. Then that's I quit. pretty amazing. But you almost did that thing where, like, you're leaving the party, and you go, bye. Yeah. See you guys later. And you're like waiting for everyone to go, no, don't leave. Why are you leaving? And you kind of did that with the NBA because no, you kept quitting and coming back and I, quitting no, and coming I, back. I quit when I was 32. <coughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> and then I went 
I started doing movies, and I came out here and did all this Hollywood stuff. And then it, I was just wa- I was hosting on NBC, and then I, w- I swear I was watching the game in 1999 in May, and I, I just said, there's no way that Kobe and Shaq uh, shouldn't be champions. I swear. And I said, I'm going to go back to the NBA. You were wow. out, but they just pulled you like back in. It was like year three. Oh, my God. My body was killing me. Uh-huh. It was killing me. But it, I, I had to go back because I needed to get work in California, and they <laughs> hated me as a piston. <laughs> <laughs> so I know. I just, I just saw it, and I said, I can still do it. I can do it. I, I kind of got away from it because you need to get away from it. Right. I read that uh, that you are were in a mentioned in an article of one of the best actors for an athlete, <laughs> and it made that me mad. I know, but that made <laughs> me so mad because that's like saying to women comedians, I'm also "You're funny for a girl." Black. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. Get out. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know, but when I read that I got pissed. Like, what? Why would you even write that? You know, just Yeah, it's like being well, funny and good looking well, and a female. There's yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah. Yeah. bullshit. I, I liked like it that. though. Let me tell you. You know you why? Because I got I got more print. Yeah. See, yeah, you gotta yeah. understand yeah. this town. It's a just like it's just like playing sports. It's how many minutes you get. That's right? true. The more minutes you get the more money you get, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So in NBA, if you play a lot of minutes, you get the most money. So I look at it as I got another minute. Somebody mentioned something else I did, mm-hmm. like uh, Nicki Minaj in her in one of her songs with Chris Brown. My name shows mm-hmm. up, like Claire. Jen Sally. Yeah. And, Sally. I, <laughs> and I was like, did she just say that? And then I was like, wow. And everybody said, yo, man, she dissed you. I was like, she just bought me out of dust, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. fact yeah, that the kids yeah, right? Google everything right. means they have to Google the truth. Yeah. And so it's just more people get to see At it. At least she didn't say what's good. No. <laughs> what's good, John Sally? No. Yeah. no. I know um, what's good. <laughs> I had, you know, one of the questions I did want to ask is when you guys were labeled the bad boys, was that offensive to you guys or did you guys, you guys no. didn't give uh, mm. yourselves that you were like, fuck it. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah. Cause we couldn't be called the Raiders. They were already Raiders. Right. Uh-huh. And you know, being a bad boy, it was a, you know, there was a song going around bad, 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 boy. Right, you know, it was right. pre eight. It was eighties, you know, bad boy. It was slick. Yeah. I, let me tell you, it's uh, when, if you, and this is, I relate a lot of things here in Hollywood to sports, but, if you got to play a role, you know they remember the bad guy. Right. Out of everything the we villain, see in Star Wars, true. Darth yeah. Vader is the mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's true. We didn't mind being the villain because we knew we could never be the magic and the Larry Bird and the up and coming Michael Jordan. We had to be the uh, we had to be the other side. We had to be the dark side. Yeah. That's wow, I mean. you must have been like swimming through pussy. Like oh. that, <laughs> like a breaststroke. Oh, <laughs> when I meet when I meet that, when I <laughs> you know, let me tell you, <laughs> this I'm so happy. That's why I said I love this show. Is going to be. It, this is when you don't. A lot of people don't know who you are. You get way more sex. You that's get interesting. way more sex when people. Well, don't that's know certainly who you are. my experience. <laughs> <laughs> but when people know who you are, you get crazy <laughs> sex because. You get you get a sex with a girl who <laughs> once out of all the psychos you met on a Tuesday night that should be getting ready for work on Wednesday, but are at the club because I'm their job. When you pick the <laughs> finest and the craziest of them that you hit and then think she's getting breakfast. Wow. You you get into the crazy, crazy you're like you don't want to pick anything. You're like, yo, you the finer they are, the crazier, and you can only get them from the same fishbowl. We all swim in. Wow. So you were breaststroking through the pussy, <laughs> as my co-host so eloquently put. Oh, if I, 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 and I tell that boy, if I can find one that I can breaststroke through, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's my woman. Yeah, we're keeping that. Radio V. Radio in TV.